Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Yes, you have Wally in front of you. Um, I've um, showed Wally to my summer school students, and this one student kind of made me think. He said, Hey, Mr. Hino, does he say Wally? And I'm like, uh, No, but I can get him to do that. So uh, basically, he just wanted to know Hey, does he make the sound? And I know that you can, you know, upload sounds to our EV3 bricks. So I'm like, no way. The next time I see this student, I need to show them that this Wally can make that sound. So I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. And then I'll show you on uh, the Lego Mindstorm software. How do you do that? So let me just run this program. So I made him move his arms in the program. And here comes the sound file. So when I showed the, the student that, he was just like, no way, Miss, you know, that's cool. So if you want to add sound files to any of your LEGO EV3 projects, I'm going to go ahead and show that to you right now. All right, let's go to the Mindstorm software. Okay, so I'm in my LEGO EV3 Mindstorm software. Let me show you how easy this is. Um, you definitely have to come up here and click on a new project, which I already did. And so I come up here to Tools, I go to Sound Editor, and it brings up my Sound Editor, uh, basically, box here. And I already, on my an, another uh, desktop computer, have the Wally soundbite ready. So when I'm ready, all I will do is click this Record. Um, I will play the sound, and then I'll show you how easy it is just to save everything. So I'm going to go ahead and click this Record right now. I'll click here, Wally. and I'll stop it over here, Wally. and then here's what I'll do. I'll just go ahead and save this sound file, and I will call it Wally. Click OK, and here's what I will then do. I can go ahead and close this out. And then when I go up here, I'm going to go down here to my sound. I'll just bring that up there. Uh, click up here, and then there's Wally right there. So I will put just click that in there. Oh, yeah, let me make this a little louder for you guys to hear. So then I just play this program. Okay, so I'll just come down here to my sound file. I'll just bring that up. I'll click here on Wally. Here. Wally. And he plays that sound file. So it's as easy as that. You can create your own sound files. You can even make your own voice on the EV3 robot. And then when I'm ready, I will just come down here. Uh, I don't have my EV3 brick plugged in, but I would just download that to the EV3 brick. So in my other previous program, I I did add some other motions to it with the uh, medium motor. But, yeah, you can incorporate this however you want in a program. And it's that cool. It's that easy. So let's go back to Wally and play that one more time for you guys. All right, Wally. So go ahead and say goodbye to everybody. Ah, so cool. All right, guys, so there is how you add a sound file to the LEGO Mindstorms EV3 software. Hopefully, you will have a lot of fun doing this. Okay, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. I am out. See you, Wally.